If there's any one thing the Bayliner is clearly very smart about, it's capitalizing on a good idea. Case in point, you can see I'm standing on the deck of a dedicated fishing boat, right? But I'm also standing on an Element hull. This is the new Element F-18. Since this is the first Element that's a real fish boat, let's get down to brass tacks right from the get-go and look at the fishing features. For starters, up in the bow, there's this flat here for an electric trolling motor. You have an anchor locker right here, and then under here and under here, stowage compartments, which will also hold your trolling motor batteries underneath. I should point out, if this were my boat, I would add rubber bumpers underneath of these hatches, just so the slamming didn't spook too many fish. Moving aft, obviously you've got a seat here in front of the console, grab rail right here, and the storage underneath. You get three rod holders on either side of the console. Little stowage compartment right in here, maybe for a little tackle box or whatever, and uh, well, you even get cup holders. Don't really need them for fishing, but hey, nice to have, right? Up here at the helm, you've got plenty of room for electronics. You can binnacle mount your fish finder here, maybe put a chart platter up here, and you've got lighted rocker switches. The helm chair houses a cooler under here, and it's a flip back seat, so you can flip it back there, put out your rods, watch the tips, see when you got a bite. In the aft deck, Bayliner takes a page right out of the Bay Boat playbook. You have fold down jump seats, or you can kick these down, pull them up, and you get storage underneath. In the center of the deck here, you might think there's a live well, and you'd be right, but we're gonna take a close look at this. Thank you, Bayliner, for not putting in one of those cheesy standpipes that falls out, and then your well drains, and then all your baits die. No, we have a real overflow here, we have a real drain in the bottom, and we have a real inlet with a valve. It's a real live well. Performance with a 90 horse is plenty spiffy. I was running at 4,000 RPM doing 24.1 miles an hour and getting 6.2 miles to the gallon. But you do have to watch the trim with this boat. If you bring it up too much, especially when you make tight turns, the prop does start to gulp some air. What about wave handling? The M hole does a good job in a small chop. On bigger waves, you will want to pull back on the throttle though. Hey, it's only an 18 foot boat. Mike, we've had a lot of fun on this boat today. We've run it around, we've checked it out inside and out, but you know, I know there's stuff we just can't see with our eyes that's gotta be new and different. What are we missing? That's right, Lenny. So whether it's the Element F-18, which we're on here, or a VR series runabouts, we've moved to a fiberglass uh, stringer system that's foam filled. We know that people have a limited amount of time, that uh, actual system enables people to just hose and go. When they're done on the water, they put the boat away, it's clean, and they can go about their life. All right, folks. Hey, this is an 18-foot boat. It's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot more detail to get into. I think I'm done talking. In fact, I think it's time for me to go to the dock and get my fishing rods.